So KK, you were at an event uh, this week and you stumbled into a bombshell. Steve Ross was on stage. Steve Ross, founder and chairman of Related Companies. And he just was talking about something and you realized uh, there's news. So what happened? So Steve Ross of Related Companies um, basically said that he had split with his partner, um, partner in Miami since 1979. He didn't name the partner, but it was Related Group, which is led by George Perez. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of like was felt like a bombshell is a bombshell, but I think was like in the making for a long time. He had been, um, you know, his stake in Related Group had been diminishing over time. And the two firms had been kind of like, you could tell, um, competing, which had not happened before. There was some kind of unspoken agreement, as, as your reporting has shown before, between related companies, New York headquartered, Hudson Yards, Time Warner Center, mega developer, primarily in New York and uh, elsewhere. And then George Perez's related group, uh, which sort of had that Miami, South Florida market to itself. So what was that? What was it structured like? Was it like you guys play there and we play here? What was the deal? Yeah. And then in South Florida, so it's kind of important to know that Steve Ross went to high school in Miami Beach. Mm -hmm. He has roots in South Florida. Um, he owns the Dolphins. He owns the Miami Dolphins, right? And wow. in, in the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Um, and so, you know, obviously related group didn't do anything in New York. Um, but I think what happened is Steve Ross wanted to do more in South Florida. And so related companies always had a presence or has long had a presence in West Palm Beach. Mm -hmm. Related group really stayed out of Palm Beach County. Mm -hmm. So kind of like the unspoken agreement was, you know, Miami, Dade and Broward, that was related group. Relate, uh, related companies was, was Palm Beach County. And then you started to notice that, um, you know, Ross and related companies were really looking to make a push in Miami, you know, over the past year or so. And the same could be said for Palm Beach County with Related Group. I think part of it is also the the boundaries of what each of those markets is has changed so much around the pandemic, right? Like West Palm Beach is a major office destination. Mm -hmm. There's other places. So initially there were more clearly defined enclaves within South Florida, but given yeah. what happened with the pandemic, it's all bled together. How did the how did the partnership start? It's probably one of the great, you know, three decade-ish, three decade plus partnerships. How did this come together initially back in the 70s, as you mentioned? So Ross, I think, started related companies in the early 70s. Like it was 1972 mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. then. Um, and he helped George Perez uh, found related group in 1979 in Miami. So George Perez got his start really with affordable housing. Um, and then from there, uh, you know, really became like the biggest condo developer in Miami. Um, there was, I think there was a rumor that like, one in every four Miami condos was developed by related group. Wow. Um, I don't think that's been confirmed, but you know, they've, they're the biggest here out for what they do um, to kind of see where the market is going. And, and it's interesting because you know, even Steve Ross uh, got his start in affordable housing. He was a tax lawyer, got his start in affordable housing, then went on to develop residential and then these mixed use mega developments. But what's the, what's the legacy of the two? So, in New York, I can tell you, like, Steve Ross is the biggest of the private developers. He's the richest, I believe, developer in New York City. Uh, huge legacy. But he probably means, I mean, George Perez probably means even more to South Florida than Steve Ross means to New York. So yeah. can you talk about that? Yeah, I mean, well, if you think about it, in one way to look at it is Miami is still really a small town. Um, you know, you we forget that sometimes, but it's small. Yeah, we have a lot of big names here, but it's a small town. And so you're able to, I think developers are able to make a bigger name for themselves here because they can, you know, you can be a bigger fish in a smaller pond, essentially. Right. And what's, what's, uh, where does it go from here? Do you have any, I guess you've just heard about this here, probably making calls as we speak, but what does this mean for the the current projects that they might have together? Is there any, do we, do we expect to see any JV sales or any stake sales or this is yours, this is mine kind of thing? Any, any yeah, deals? That's, yeah, that's a question I have out to related. Um, I'll see if I if I get an answer. But what's, you know, I think it's it's more about like moving forward. Um, they are acting independently. You know, they were always independent. They're independent companies, to be mm -hmm. clear. They're not, you know, it wasn't like 
It's not a subsidiary exactly, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was interesting to me that Ross used the word split, to be honest with you. Um, But um, yeah, I mean, I think that, that it, I think it's kind of like all bets are off, you know, like, you know, related can expand as much as related group can expand as much as they want, maybe in Palm Beach County. Um, and they weren't doing that so much before. Um, so we'll see. I mean, it's interesting. I think part of it too is obviously a business decision. Mm-hmm. Been moving here, expanding here. But I think too, for Ross, it was personal. He said he, you know, he fled New York during the pandemic. Um, he has a home in Palm Beach. You know, he owns the Miami Dolphins. I think this is kind of where he wants to, you know, to be 